Hi friends, if you are already watching, know that we'll start in about two minutes here. Okay, friends, a big, warm welcome to you. Whether you're watching this live today or you're watching it recorded at another time, I'm so glad that you're here, and it is my honor to be with you guys today. My name is Lauren, and I have been teaching mindfulness meditation and yoga to children for a long time. And I really love it so much. And if you're brand new to mindfulness practice, we call it meditation, great. It's it's fun and I think it's fairly easy and your experience will be different every time. And I just really want you to, to be able to relax with it today, okay? So before we begin, first thing is for you to position your body any way you want. So you could sit in a chair or you could lie down if you have a bed nearby. You could sit on the ground, maybe you're on the couch, wherever you are, sit however you want. The only rule is that you turn off all of your electronics other than the one that you're watching me on. So I'll give you just a minute to turn everything off and to get settled in your body. Okay, so that you know what to expect today. Our practice is going to be maybe 10 minutes together, so it's not very long. But what I want to teach you through our time together is some ways that you can hopefully remember for later and other times when we're not doing this together, ways that you can help yourself if you ever have overwhelming feelings or any kind of discomfort, whether it's physical or it's in your head and your mind, you know, like thoughts, busy thoughts, overwhelming emotions. I'm teaching you some ways to, we're going to call it redirect your attention. So really changing what you're thinking about for that moment so that you can feel a little bit better in that moment. Okay? So for right now, the first thing we're going to do is something called mindful seeing, seeing with your eyes. It's one of my favorite practices. So once you get settled in your seat or if you're lying down on the bed or the couch, you're going to actually keep your eyes open. You're going to keep your eyes open, but you're going to keep your eyes really, really still for about a minute. Keep your eyes still, and you're probably looking at me right now I want you to look above me so that 
you're not looking at the screen just for a second. Look above me and maybe you're looking at a point on the wall. Can you do that? Or maybe you're looking, I don't know, if you're facing a window, can you look outside? So just for another couple seconds here, just let your eyes be really still. And now, keeping your body still, keeping your head still, start to move your eyes around. Move your eyes around the room. But don't turn your head. You're going to want to turn your head, but don't let it turn. You're just moving your eyes around the room. And now, look at one spot on the floor, if you can. If you're not positioned well to look at the floor, find another spot on the wall. It doesn't really matter what you look at, but just a spot that has nothing on it. So the floor or the rug or the wall or the door. And now you're going to let your eyes become really still again. And you can blink. You can blink, but don't move your eyes. Just another couple seconds here. If your eyes accidentally move away, it's no big deal. Just bring your eyes back to that spot. Like you're really concentrating on that spot. Okay. Now I want you to make your eyes really strong. I wish we could see each other and I could hear you give me your answers, but What's an animal you know of that has really strong eyes, like way stronger than our human eyes? I think of an eagle, right? Some of you might have said hawk. Lion, perhaps. I don't know. I don't know if a lion has stronger eyes than us, but they seem stronger than us in every way, so I'm assuming they do. And so I want you to think about your animal that you want to connect with that has really strong eyes. And I want you to pretend you have hawk eyes or lion eyes or eagle eyes. And with your really strong animal eyes, now start to look around the room again. And you can move your head now. Let your head and your eyes move. And with your really strong vision, hawk eyes, lion eyes. I want you to look around and see if you can notice something that you've never seen before in the room that you're in. You may or may not be home. Wherever you are, what's in the room that you've never noticed? I'm noticing a crack on my wall that I have never seen before. I have never seen this in my whole entire life. And I've actually been in this room thousands of times before. So as you look around the room and look for things you've never seen, I want you to name them. Can you say them out loud? So like I'm saying, I see a crack on the wall. Tell me what you can see that might be new for you. I know some of you might be coming up with a lot of things. If you're not, I bet there's even a scratch on the floor or a speck of dirt or a smudge or something that you have never seen before. Sometimes we have to get really detailed with our vision in order to see something new. So I'm going to give you another minute or so to look around. Okay. It's interesting that we looked around the first time and didn't really see as much, but when we really on purpose use our strong vision, it's interesting what we can see in our surroundings, isn't it? 
And so I want you to remember this. You can use this anytime, no matter where you are. If you're experiencing something that feels challenging for you in your mind or in your body, look around the room and just start to name things that you haven't seen before. And if you're in a new room, there's going to be a lot of things you haven't seen. But just starting to name objects, like say we do it right now, I'm going to name stuff I've seen. So I'm going to say book, chair, lamp, rug, box, just naming things. Okay, that's our first exercise. And now we'll do that similar but different because we're going to use our ears. We're going to use listening, mindful listening. So it's up to you if you want to have your eyes open or closed. It doesn't matter. Both are the same and they're fine. So you get to choose eyes open or eyes closed. But imagine now that you are an animal that has such sharp hearing. I think of a bat, right? Can't, yeah, bats can hear like, I don't know how far away, maybe miles away in their surrounding. And so think of an animal that you'd like to connect with that has really strong and sharp hearing. And then really just start to listen to what's around you. And you could name it. You could tell me right now out loud what you hear. I can hear the rain. I can hear my computer humming along, cars driving by. Tell me a few more things that you hear. Okay, this is another one, you guys, that you can use anytime. Anytime you need a break from whatever's going on, put on your mindful ears, maybe really feel into that animal sense. You know, we're so connected to animals and nature, and I think sometimes we forget, right? So put on your, your real acute sense of hearing and just notice what you hear in your environment. Okay, so a little bit of homework. You can take it or leave it. You don't have to do it, but you can do it if you want to. The next time you go outside, if you're going outside right now, you can either do this outside or you can look out a window to do this, but notice what you see and hear in nature. So I'm inside and I can still hear the rain and I can see the trees. So you can do it from inside and name what you see and hear, or you can go outside and, and name and see, Na name what you're hearing and name what you're seeing outside in nature. And then your last little piece of homework, if you want, is to draw, you could make some kind of piece of art either something that you saw today, or perhaps you make a little piece of art based off something that you see outside, something in nature. Sound good? Okay, my friends. Thank you for coming today. Again, whether you're watching right now or you're watching later, I'm just glad that we're here together in the way that we are. And I send you all the love today. Thanks for coming.